Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me uh, attempting to do Advent of Code this year. Uh, this year, I'm traveling a bit. I'm in Asia. I'm in Taiwan right now, actually, in uh, Hualien, a uh, beautiful place. But yeah, I, I can't do it live because I'm actually out doing stuff. So I'm going to try to record and go for my thought process a little bit slower and my, my, my setup uh, as I'm not competing this year, or at least not for the leaderboard. But I will try to get all the problems. Uh, so definitely expect to uh, expect all 25. I mean, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know, come to my Discord. Uh, let me know what you think. So uh, this this being day one, it should be easy. So I'm not going to uh, just jump into it. I'm going to describe a little bit of my setup uh, for now. Um, for the for the screen, I have you know the my my browser on the AOC browser here. Um, Obviously, it's a little bit smaller, but uh, I'm also doing these a few hours later. So, so yeah, there's, there's no spoilers. You can click through it. That's all I'm going to be doing. So you can kind of see my reaction and what I'm looking at, kind of. But, I mean, it's not that important. Uh, and then the second thing is obviously the um, the terminal, the console. Uh, I actually use Emacs. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what you'll be seeing. Uh, right now, I'm just here. Uh, I have two things. One is the download.sh. It's basically um, the curl command for the test file. Uh, I'm not gonna. I need to set it up a little bit better for screening, but I'm not gonna show it because it has my. It probably has my session secrets, so I'm not gonna share that. But basically, when I run it, um, hopefully it doesn't show anything. Otherwise, I have to crop it out. Yeah. So. Hmm. Uh, so yeah. So. Uh, Yeah, basically, I, I run the download.sh. It's, it's just a curl command. If you look through your uh, Chrome or Firefox or whatever, if you inspect the network traffic, you could get the, you could copy the curl command, and that's what I did. I copied it, and then I changed the, like, the, the URL is very, very obvious. You can change it to this year, and you can predict what tomorrow will be. So that's what I did, right? Um, and then as, uh, basically my idea is that as soon as it strikes 12, as soon as the timer goes, I run the script. Um, and I, I think, I mean, I don't have it set up this year, but I think on previous year, it was, I set it so that um, like it's a scheduled thing, so that when it hits midnight with plus one second, just in case or something, uh, or, yeah, I think it's plus one seconds, uh, and then it just downloads it because, I mean, I'm not gonna solve it that fast anyway. I'm not ChatGPT. Uh, so yeah, and then here uh, I'm going to go over my code real quick. Um, it's a little bit of hack, it's a little bit of things. Uh, I mean, this is my template, not my code. Uh, well, my template code. Uh, but basically I just have, and we'll go over this maybe in the future. Let me know if this is interesting to share because I don't even know if it is. Um, but this is this being day one, I share a little bit at the very least. But, uh, but all these are just helper tools. I need to kind of put them in the same place. But basically, I have a library that I just kind of always uh, insert. And I think all it does is... Uh, ooh, oops. All it does is... So basically, it just process... Um, I, I basically have a main function. Maybe I could just go into it real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's just reading the input and stuff like that, and then doing comparison with... Um, uh, doing the comparison with the results and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I think I probably should use an automated thing that someone else has done, but I, I don't know, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, basically, it, it, it lets me run a few things and runs tests. Uh, this year, I'm a little bit unprepared, to be frank, uh, because I'm not competing, right? In previous years, I would actually be way on top of what my template does. This year, I may be exp ex um, exploring this with you myself. But also this year, obviously, I'm going to take it more slowly. We'll, we'll read the problems together more slowly and hopefully, you know, less misreading. And yeah, we'll just do them together. So, okay. So without further ado now, um, yeah, let, let's look at the problem. Am I ready? Yep, let's go quick. So I make sure that it shows up on my little screen over here. Okay, let's go. Day one, do, 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 do. someone want, 
Okay, 50 stars, each person one star, okay. I didn't even read any of this. And each line can be found by combining first digit and the last digit to form a two digit number. So two. Uh, oh, this is a one. One and two, okay. And okay, so I mean, this is pretty straightforward, right? So you find the first. Um, uh, you find the first digit and the last digit, and that's it. Uh, yeah, so then here maybe I would do something like uh, uh, for line and uh, for line and lines inputs. And of course, I already parsed them out in here, but you will write for line and then maybe for C in line if C is numeric, um, uh, append C, right? Uh, wait, what? Uh, and I'm, I'm writing it as I would write it if I was trying to do it for speed. So some of this will be a little bit weird. Some of it will be a little bit um, just not clean. But, and obviously I'm talking through, so I'm not actually going that fast. But I'm just trying to, I think what I want to accomplish with these videos is kind of go for my thought process. So I am going to write things as if I'm trying to do it as fast as I can, even though I'm slowing it down to kind of explain. But yeah, but basically this just puts all the numeric together, and then now we can just do a symbol to do 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 do. Maybe int plus uh, negative one for the last uh, item, right? And shift and add. So eh, maybe I could write win this a little bit differently. Maybe even this. So I I I think actually if I was uh, competing, I wouldn't have changed it only because I, I have no time to change it. But yeah, so that this is equal to x. And then total is equal to zero, uh, and then total did it, ooh. And then now print total. I, I think I have something like a little bit, um, yep. Hmm, I forget how to do it. Uh, oh, that's right. So I have this thing where this is the input, so I think I have a small and a big, but yeah, uh, okay, pb, paste, right, man, I, I don't know my template anymore. I forget how, how my reading works, or my, how my testing works, anyway. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, wait, that's just a template. Man, for me, <laughs> But this is why I um, don't get it. What are you doing, Emacs? Hmm, I don't know what I did. Um, but this is why if, uh, okay, so, oh, input and small dot text, okay. So, okay, so we move input dot, is it move input dot text? I don't know, this isn't very good convention, but uh, that's what I've been doing, I think. Uh, Okay, so test it once is 142, that's great. And then now we want it for actual, the input is empty because I probably didn't name it correctly again. Hmm. I forget how to name these things, or like the, uh, the things. But this is why, you know, you, you can't be doing this live during a contest, right? So you have to do this uh, input.text, okay. So I, that's why, you know, for, uh, I definitely spend like, maybe not that much, but like a, a day, like a day or two uh, in advance to prepare for, even just knowing my template a little bit, you can't just jump into it. Uh, so yeah, so test is 142, actual is five, and that's basically what I do. Uh, I probably should just keep it in, in, is that, that seems like a lot, isn't it? Hmm. All right, there you go, one star, and then now we could do part two. I should have spelled out letters. It looks like some of the digits are actually spelled out letters. So the calibration bars are two nine. Are they only like uh, one two three four five one two uh, one two three four five is f okay. So it's still the first whatever, right? Mm, that is interesting. Uh, definitely. Usually I'm pretty good at part one, but who knows. Like I said, ChatGPT may get it today. Um, 
Okay. I got it. So yeah, so now da -da -da -da, um hmm. No uh let's see. Eh, this is probably gonna be a little bit awkward. But basically uh what I would do is uh and I'm kind of just not going as fast as I can. But I would have something like do 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 like a mapping, right? And I don't know that there's an easier way to do this. Maybe there is. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's already uh if there's a Python library that um there's a Python library that does this, but uh I'm not versed in that. Uh I almost forgot to say Right? And then now for, for uh eh. For key in m dot keys, oh, how did that happen? Uh, line that replace key with m dot key. Right? I don't know if it's in place. I never do. And then now, now this should work. Right? Uh, oh, right. This is uh. Da -da -da -da. Right. Uh. Shouldn't be 142, but just that's because the input changed on the small. Let's try real quick. Uh, oh, part one doesn't work. Uh, that's true. So let's do part two only. Right? Oh man. I, again, I do not know my. <laughs> this is I haven't touched this since last year, to be honest. Um, What, what what parameters did I put? I thought it was P2 or something. But, uh, is it, do I have a main? Where do I have this? Oh, it's on V, right? Oh, get options, what? Where is get options? Eh. Uh, P1, that's what I thought I did, right? No. Oh, whoops. Uh, I am such a new about this. Okay, 211. So this is not right, right? So, okay. Well, I guess that that would have already. I mean, let's pretend that I didn't um, do all the things about not remembering how I choose test part two. But to be honest, if I was doing this on a contest on a leaderboard or whatever, that would already put me out of the top 100. Um, because now we have to kind of print things out and that is too late, right? And we could do test only. Uh, so 21988, oh, oh. What is A2, how do you spell this or like, Oh, it's only the first one, huh? Wow, because I, I replaced this with two. I guess I don't need to replace it. I, all I need to do is replace it with this. Right. Uh, what, what, what I need to look at the answer. Uh, 54209, hopefully this is right, right? Yeah, uh, ooh, that's not the right answer. Hmm. I thought that would be okay, but hmm. Oh, whoops! Just do the test. Um, two one nine eight. Oh, I thought that um, I thought that doing this would be good, but actually, still uh. Cuts it off. That's why this is wrong. I I thought that if you just replace it, then the first instance will always be good. But there's a case where you know you replace the the two first, right? Um, how did I? Hmm. All right. I thought I was trying to be clever, and I am. But uh, this cleverness not quite work. Uh. If.
<laughs> I think this should work, even though this is uh, disgusting. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I mean, I, like I said, um, during the contest, that would be too slow, but uh, let's see how the leaderboard is. I mean, I know that I didn't make it, but I mean, uh, the times, right? Uh, well, yeah, day one times, okay. Two minutes, I think I have a chance at two minutes. This is my type of thing. Oh, both stars, no, 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 no. Sorry, whoops, I misread. 12 seconds sounds more correct. And I'm like, I don't know that. Um, one minute 40 seconds is probably close to, um, like, I have a good chance of making the leaderboard, but not very high. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking at, I'm not thinking about where I am on the exp on the thing. I'm just thinking about, um, like, if I was 100%, can I get that high? I don't know, maybe top 50, maybe, if I'm a little bit lucky. I mean, at this point, like, every second matters, and it's just, it's hard to say where you end up because, uh, you know, like, what's the difference between uh, 120 and 130, right? Uh, actually, not that, um, yeah, like 50 ranks or something, or no, like 30 ranks. So, like, and that's just, I don't know, copy and pasting. I, I have a lot of inefficiencies, and but I still was, uh, you know, top 100 last time. So, uh, and then both, I have no chance. I, I As soon as you have to debug, no chance. Though I I don't think I was that slow. I don't I just don't think I was that fast. Right? Uh, I don't. Maybe I should have had a timer set up just to. I'm just curious about my debugging, but uh, but yeah. But basically the idea here is that I just double it, uh, the front end end, so that on the prefix and the suffix you don't delete anything, or it still continues to match, but you embed a number into it so that uh, the rest of the algorithm would work. But hmm, that's interesting. That's a cute problem. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one, I think, right? Uh, I mean, I could go over the complexity or something, but, uh, but I don't even think there's that much explanation. I mean, the way that I did it is a little bit clunky, but like I said, I'm optimizing for time, even though uh, on this one, right? Like, I think getting on the leaderboard is interesting because you get like one or two points, but if you act or for a leaderboard for a certain day is interesting that you get, um, you know, you get points and you get fame and you get whatever. But also, to be honest, like if you are trying to get to the final leaderboard, it almost doesn't even like like if you get if you are a hundredth, it, it, you get one point, you know, so like you really have to and like I aim to be like 50 or like someone like that to at least get a substantial amount of points. I mean, obviously I don't really have any goals or rather there's nothing I can control, right? I just go as fast as I can. And if I'm, I'm you know, and whatever I get, whatever I get, right? Like I have no control over it, but, uh, but mentally I'm, I'm, I try to like pace myself in a good time. Um, or like that, that's how, much, that's what I would want to at least have a chance to finish you know, the final top 100 data point. Um, yeah, uh, this should not have taken 20 minutes, but I had a lot of, of uh, you know, set up and, and talking about it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about th this video. Let me know. Uh, I know that this is the way that I set this thing up isn't very clean, uh, but, you know. Um, but yeah, my thought process is trying to, uh, like I said, what I optimize for is speed. Okay, part one, I'm not going to go over. I think part one, we don't have to go over, right? Let me know in the comments if you have specific questions. But part two, um, I was just trying to think about what's the easiest way to do it, right? And and to be honest, I just thought that I could replace it and that'll be fine. But I didn't really look at the test cases uh, deeply enough. Even the sample ones that they gave us, which is very kind of them, which is that, you know, eight and two can occupy one word. Uh, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's not good. I mean, I... You could have done this, you could have fixed it in another way. But I, I, I think at that point, I was already committed. Like, if I knew or if I thought about this edge case beforehand, then maybe I could have written something differently. Um, like, 
you know, the first index of this, and then you do some like if statement and the first and last. But I was still trying to think of how to reuse the last code. And I just thought, okay, maybe I could replace, but then I didn't realize there's this edge case. And then now I'm replacing in a way such that it can all, uh, still match the other words before and after. Um, because I'm doing it with the keys and not like by left to right. Maybe I could have, to, I mean, you, the more natural thing, to be honest, is probably just like a character at a time and then like starting at this index or something. But um, I don't know. I don't know if that would have been, I mean, I think in my mind, this was faster only because this would have been two lines change, right? Like my original incorrect solution was this, and this would have been like just so fast relatively uh, to type, I mean. Um, but obviously needing to correct it, then it ended up costing more time because we did, had to debug twice and yeah, oh well. Um, but but that's what, how it is with these leaderboards, right? The way that the scoring is set up is that, like I said, if you get like a hundred, it almost is, you're, you're barely on the podium. It's still nice. It still feels good, and it feels better than nothing. But you know, you're barely there. Um, so so like I I for me, I'm not good enough to coast on, um, you know, like if I do my average performance. I don't know that how high I can get. I have to kind of cheat a little bit with time, and and with that you increase the volatility on your performance, meaning that I could get higher, but I could also get lower. But in this case, remember that lowering doesn't um, like it doesn't matter, right? Because like if I finish a hundredth and tenth and two hundredth is the same score. So in that sense, that's what I'm optimizing for, and that's what I try to portray here. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, for today, I'll keep it short. Be, well, I mean, you know, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know how you did on today's contest, uh, uh, today's um, at random code. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.